Hey guys, how's it going? F8 Alpha here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a look into a different game. This is Armored Warfare. Now, Armored Warfare has been out now for some time. I think it's closing in on about two years now that it's been out and playable. Uh, everybody was saying that this would be the World of Tanks killer because of the updated graphics using the Crytek engine to power it. And it had Obsidian Entertainment behind it, producing it, or um, developing it, I should say. Um, however, Armored Warfare suffered from some very serious problems that we'll have a look at today. Now, this just did update, so it's update 0 0.19, and with the update came a ton of balances and new vehicles there was 26 vehicles added to the game and most of the vehicles were re-tiered so if it was say a tier 6 or 7 it would be moved up to a tier 8 or 9 and um, there's been quite a few changes quite a few um, core game changes that they have implemented with this so we're going to be taking a quick look at that. Now, they did introduce a new map. There's a new PvP map called Chemical Plant. There's two new PvE missions. There's a new skirmish mode. So you can now uh, spend your time skirmishing. Also, there's a new global operations map called Baron Divide. And uh, these are just a few of the new features that were implemented with this latest patch. Now, Armored Warfare, I gotta say, visually, when it came out, was definitely the more um, graphically intense game compared to World of Tanks. World of Tanks had not yet gotten their HD models, and um, they were lacking behind, which is what gave Armored Warfare here quite the advantage. As you can see, the uh, the detail on the tanks is uh, it's pretty good. You can see some, you know, the the dirt and the scraping along the paint and all that stuff. Um, you know, the cage armor, of course, the cables. You know, all of this graphic detail is very good in Armored Warfare, but the graphics is not really what killed Armored Warfare. What killed Armored Warfare is the player count. So basically nobody is playing Armored Warfare now. And so what that means is that when you go to get into a battle, PvP battle, as you can see here, um, there's two people. Right here, player and Q, two. So obviously we're not going to get a battle for quite some time until an additional, uh, what, 28 people or so get on. So that is what is killing it, as you see here, even in the PvE battles, if you click on hard, there's eight people. So we got four times the number uh, waiting in the uh, PvE queue here. But as you can see, you know, having 11, 12 players online, it's, it's not going to make this game thrive. This game is basically stagnant right now there's no advertising going on for it um, so it just got kinda got pushed to the wayside with various issues that it had and um, a lot of players were hyped to hop on this game and play something different from World of Tanks something obviously more modern these are you know modern modern vehicles here um, They were interested in playing something a little bit different, something that would be current as opposed to World of Tanks. So World of Tanks came out in 2011, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. that that's my, my educated guess without having a um, look into it. I think somewhere around 2011, 2012. Um, so the game is quite dated. However, they are updating the graphics 
and the HD models and World Tanks, and hopefully they're going to come out with the environment, the maps will be HD quality, and that will, of course, be a definite game changer. But for right now, um, getting back to Armored Warfare, there's just nobody playing this game. And, I mean, personally, I think it's a good game. I think it has some very, very good mechanics in it, like the artillery um, is much different to World of Tanks. World of Tanks, you're accustomed to getting like one or two shot from artillery. Uh, the damage is like astronomical. You get hit with that thing and it and the shell penetrate your tank, you're you're going back to the garage. Armored Warfare, they took a different approach to it. They took a more rapid fire, less damage approach to it. And also they implemented other mechanics in the game like um, uh, smoke screens so you can, you know, block your allies or uh, prevent the enemy from targeting your your tanks. Um, fire off a smoke screen around and it'll basically just blot out the area so nobody can see anything. Um, also you can illuminate the area with illumination rounds. So they, they implemented some different mechanics into Armored Warfare, but overall the game is pretty much uh, I don't say dead, but it's it's definitely not thriving. This this is, you know doesn't have you know 20, 25,000, 30,000 players on it at any one given night during the week like World of Tanks does. This you know has maybe thirty people on a good night that uh, are dedicated to playing this. Um, now this latest patch that came out gave you the opportunity to reset your account. And so basically they would refund you your gold, your credits, and your experience that you um, that you uh, used in the previous patches to you know progress down the lines. And so with this option, uh, you could either take advantage of it or not. You could keep your progress as is. I took advantage of it. I went ahead and I reset my account. And with that, I think I had like 500 million credits and like 28,000 or 28 million uh, experience that I could use for anything. Also, I had like 34,000 gold, which is what I used to purchase the latest premium tank here, which is the T-72 Bravo 3. Great tank. Uh, plays really, really well. I love the gun on this thing. The maneuverability is great. Um, you know, the armor is actually pretty effective. The uh, reactive armor here, it explodes when your tank gets hit and you, you don't take very much damage at all. Um, super effective tank. I love the look of this tank. I always have. But once again, uh, trying to get into a match with this tank is not the easiest. You'll be waiting for... <clears throat> excuse me. You'll be waiting for like four or five minutes at a time, easy or longer, to get into a match. And it just uh, kind of kills the uh, kills the game. You know, you just want to hop into the game. You want to play a couple rounds fairly quick, and that doesn't really happen. And you're usually switching tiers, so um, you'll see that there'll be you know four players waiting for a tier six battle. So if you hop in your tier six, obviously you'll get put into a battle. Um, so you're usually switching tiers, not really playing the tanks that you really wanted to. So like I said, the player count is just what is doing this game no justice here. Now they are looking at a massive rebalancing again in patch 2.0, which will be the next patch coming out. But like I said, I don't think it's going to make very much of a difference. The game might be getting better and they might be improving the quality and the mechanics in it. However, nobody's playing it because people have, one, forgotten about it. So they downloaded it and played it for a little while, and then you know it was like, okay, that was that was fun. Let's move on to something else. Or two, they don't know about it because obviously World of Tanks is massively popular, especially in the EU or Russia. Um, very very popular game over there. Where this Armored Warfare on the EU server is decent. You can actually play the tanks you want to play. However, you're playing on an EU server, which means if you purchased anything for the NA server, so premium tanks, then you cannot play them over there. Also, all your progression uh, doesn't transfer. It's not a unified uh, account. 
it's you know per server on uh, different continents so I gotta say as far as the NA server goes we are having some tough times with this game so that's kind of the the state of the game guys I just want to kind of give you guys a quick update that uh, this is a new game I haven't featured on my channel however I have been playing this game for a little bit um, but like I said the player count has been down so there's really been no point however the update I wanted to bring it up to you guys I wanted to bring it to your attention Maybe you guys will have a look at it. It's called Armored Warfare, if you didn't catch that the first time around. Check it out. Um, download it and try and get into a PvE battle because PvP is pretty much dead. But with that said, guys, I am F8 Alpha. And I will catch you guys next time.